Hey what's going on guys this is Kedar here and today in this video on social security number we'll check out how to pay your bills with the social security number. Can you really pay your bills with the social security number? Is it true or false or just a scam alert that you should be aware of? We'll check out all the details right here in this video. We'll check out all the important details from the federalreserve.gov and this is a really genuine question does the federal reserve maintain your accounts for individuals and can individuals use those accounts to pay off their bills and get money out of their social security number is it really possible can you really use your social security number to pay up your debt and bills also we will check out all the details on your bank routing numbers what does those exactly mean as well and just before we start this video make sure to check out our channel how to guys and be sure to subscribe with all the bell notification turn on so you'll never miss new videos we upload every single day make sure to hit that like button that really helps us and without further ado let's get right into the video so here is the thing can you really use your social security number that is ssn to pay off your debt bills with just your social security number is it really possible or is it just another online scams and to really understand whether you can pay your debt or bills with social security number first you need to understand what exactly is your social security number well basically the social security numbers are developed in 1936 to maintain a permanent and accurate earnings records for each of the person working in employment and covered under the social security program and you know this purpose has evolved over time and now they are used as a primary means of confirming the identification in all manner of banking and employment systems and here is the thing about the social security number the first three digits of your social security number is your area number this will indicate in which state individual has applied for the card Speaking of the second group of numbers, the middle group, the middle two digits is your group number and has geographic or data significance and this one is used to organize the filing system and speaking of the last four digits this one represents your series number which is your randomized numerical series starting from 0001 going all the way until 9999 that's basically your social security number this is very important thing the numbers on the back of the card are also not linked to a secret private bank account with a federal reserve Remember, these numbers are not linked to any sort of a secret private bank account with Federal Reserve. But supposedly, many people say that they can actually use their routing numbers to get money out of their social security number. Is it really true? Well, let's check it out. Actually, there is a post onto the Instagram which is basically saying something like that. And onto the May 20, actually, there was an Instagram post with more than 2000 likes and they are basically claiming that a social security card is really like a credit card linked to your treasury account and this will permit you a federal exemption to discharge bills through the credits issued on behalf of the government is it really true i mean so in a sense this post is basically saying that their credit is a digital gold that can be utilized to fund your daily purchases which can be discharged through your exemption account that is ssn and right over here in that instagram post they are showing a screen capture of google search results showing that cornell law school definition of the term what is the card issuer and here is the instagram post and they are showing social security number which is basically your account number that's what they are saying and here is your routing number so the moral of the story is these social media posts are claiming that some social security cards are tied to the federal reserve bank and allow debit purchases and the purpose was to show account of the sort existed through not freely accessible as those posts are saying but what is the reality of this post is it really possible to pay up to your debt and bills well first of all let me tell you the social security number is not linked to your account it's not possible to use social security number to pay up any debt or bills and attempting to do so could result in a legal or financial penalties and this is a statement according to the federal reserve system remember it is not possible to use 
social security number to pay up any debt or bills and if you are attempting to do so that can result in legal or financial penalties and here is the thing onto the federal reserve site there is a recent hoax which is circulating onto the internet basically saying that federal reserve maintains accounts for individuals which are tied to individuals social security number and many of those hoax are basically saying that individuals can access these accounts to pay off their debt and obtain money and looks like these these claims are totally false. In response, Federal Reserve said individuals who attempt to make payments using false bank routing numbers could face fees from the companies they were attempting to pay or have actual bank accounts closed or suspended while doing so. While that social media post gone viral, Federal Reserve issued statements saying that bank received numerous unauthorized transactions where consumers used their social security number to pay bills. Remember, these claims are totally fraudulent false and there is no such a thing like you can pay up your debts and bills using social security number. Well. As per many people claim that the social security card can be used as a routing and account number to make purchases, it's totally false. Do not even try to do this. Actually, the Fed has debunked the claim on numerous occasions and it's not possible for individuals to have a bank account with Fed. People who attempt to make payments using this method could have their payment rejected and they may also face fees and other penalties while doing so. And remember the numbers on social security cards maintain your information about card itself and they are not linked to any bank account. So the moral of the story is no it's not possible to use your social security number to pay up your debt or bills. Your SSN is basically account number similar to bank account, credit card account number. It's just a number that is used to identify you and as an employer what you are, where you are contributing in social security funds. And this number isn't actually worth anything and it's not actually linked to your bank account account into the federal reserves and other things and because this number doesn't work anything it has no value when attempting to pay up your debts and bills do subscribe to our channel with all the bell notification turn on to never miss new videos we upload every single day make sure to hit that like button and this is kedar from how to guys signing out